Are you looking to achieve your weight loss goals? Well, there is one thing that you need to control and that is your hormone insulin. In this video, I will look at comparing white bread and keto almond flour bread and the effect it has on your blood sugar levels. For a diabetic person and a non-diabetic person, the results are astonishing. You do not want to miss this video. My husband here is a diabetic and I am a non-diabetic. Today we are going to eat um, a slice of toast and it's a very very small slice of toast I have to say and we haven't eaten toast in quite some time right? I can't remember the last time I had toast. One slice equates to 13.1 grams of carbs, 0 0.8 grams of sugars. We are going to uh, measure our blood uh, sugar levels before we start. We're going to use. Yep. So we're going to check our reading in half an hour. Then we're going to check our reading in one hour and then again at two hours. Okay, and then we're going to see how um, our blood sugars spike and how long it takes for them to come down. Now, we haven't eaten anything, but we do intermittent fasting, so we haven't eaten anything for the whole day. My result is 4.9. Okay, as you can see, it's 4.9. Okay, and this is my result. 8.7. Okay, so now we're going to eat our toast and really enjoy it because we haven't eaten it for how many years? Anyway, so let's eat the toast and then we'll tell you what our readings are going to be like. It's been half an hour now since we've had our uh, slice of toast. So now we're going to take another reading to see how it's affected our blood sugar. Okay. Okay. 8.3. Oh, my blood sugars have gone up. Mine has gone up now. 11.6. Okay, so it's been one hour since we ate our slice of toast. Now we're going to take another reading to see what our sugar levels are now. I think it's gone up or down? I think it'll gone up. What was it before? 8.3. Plateaued. So maybe it will come down ah. from the next reading. Okay, so it's still 8.3 for me. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's going up. 13.3. Put it forward. Whoa. Not well. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so That's join one us in more. one hour's time where we will measure how much our blood sugar is two hours after eating a slice of toast. That means we can't have dinner. No, not for another hour. Oh, it's not ready yet anyway, I haven't put it in the oven. It's been two hours since we ate the slice of toast and we are now ready to find out how our blood sugar levels are doing after two hours. 5.8. My sugar levels down. are on its way down now. Up That's eight. after two hours. And 12 and a half. So, oh, no. so, so it's way back down. Yours is on its way back down, but it's still quite high. Now, it's um, important to remember that when, when we ate that one slice of toast, um, we didn't eat anything during those two hours. Okay, so that blood sugar spike um, has been with just one slice of toast and it's taken us two hours for, for me, for, it's taken me two hours to come back down to normal. Um, and for you, your blood sugars have still not returned to normal. Today, we are going to compare what our blood sugar levels are like if we eat the same amount of carbs, but in a keto toast instead. So today I have made um, a keto toast, which is a low carb recipe. Please see the link in my description. Um, and basically it's made out of almond flour and, um, and eggs. This is a healthy, uh, low carb recipe. So it normally is four grams of carbs, but I multiplied that by three to give us 12 grams of carbs, which is then comparable to the toast that we ate, which was 13 grams of carbs. Okay, so what we want to do is compare what our blood sugars will be like if we eat this bread 
or if we eat the normal white um, slice of bread. We are going to take a baseline reading first um, of our blood sugars uh, and then we will measure our bloods in half an hour's time and we will measure in one hour after eating and then two hours after eating the keto bread. Okay, so my baseline is 5.1. Oh. Right, so that is your baseline. And, and remember, we haven't actually eaten anything since our dinner last night. So yeah. this is our baseline blood sugar. As you can see, my husband is a diabetic. Okay, so his sugars are 12. Uh, okay, so now we are going to eat our toast. So it's been half an hour since we ate the keto toast. We're now going to do a blood sugar reading to see how our blood sugars are doing. So my reading came out 5.2 in um, after half an hour. Okay. And my reading is... Is 13.4. 13 13 it's gone up. Yeah. But not that much. It's been Hello. one hour since we ate the keto toast. And now we're going to measure our blood sugar levels now to see mm. what's happening. Is your reading? So let's see if it's five. Oh. Five. So one hour 5. after 7. eating the keto toast, it's 5.7. Wow. Good result. Okay, and the reading is 14. See that? So it's gone up. Yes, it's gone up by 0 0.6. So, moment of truth. It's been two hours since we ate the keto toast, so we are now going to find out what our blood sugar levels are like. Okay, here we go. Reflection. 5.7. Looks like. Oh my god, it's the same. 5.7. It's the same as one hour ago. 5.7. Write it down. Okay. 13.8. So let's talk about the results. The results show that white bread raises your blood sugar levels very, very quickly, as can be seen by the immediate spike in blood sugar levels. Just half an hour after eating both for a diabetic person and a non-diabetic person for a non-diabetic person it takes two hours for the blood sugar levels to then come back down to its normal levels for a diabetic person however the steep rise in blood sugar levels are much slower to return back down and even after two hours the blood sugar levels remain high. Keto bread on the other hand has minimal effect on blood sugar levels. There is no sugar spike as compared to white bread uh, and you can see that the graph is much more stable both for a diabetic and a non-diabetic person. So keto bread proves to be a very good healthy alternative to white bread it does not spike your blood sugar levels like white bread does. Now, if one small slice of toast has this effect on your blood sugar levels, just imagine if you are constantly eating throughout the day. And most of our go-to snacks are high in sugars, high in, in carbs and highly processed. You will be constantly raising your blood sugar levels and if your blood sugar levels are high, your body will constantly be secreting insulin. Remember, if your insulin levels are high, your body will be in fat storage mode. Fat storage mode. Fat storage mode. You will not be able to tap into your fat stores or burn fat as energy. Now, if you can reduce the frequency of how often you eat and eat foods that do not spike your blood sugar levels, like for example the keto toast as an alternative to white bread, then you will be able to shift your body into fat burning instead and achieve your weight loss goals. Ah, that? that was worse, the needle you squishing it. <laughs> Oh, turn it! <laughs> oh, that hurts! Oh, it does. Not on that finger now. Yeah, it's good. Yeah.
Wow! Yee! Come on, get some blood out. Come on, that's just been up. No, it's not. It's not. No! It's not you! <laughs> oh. oh, no way! You just did that again. I've done it three times now. <laughs> that one was my fault. That one was. <laughs> switch it on again. You didn't, put, you didn't put it in. You're just trying to get his attention without doing it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.